Hey BFP TV viewers, we are here in the Cabaret Calabracoa breeding trial and look at this beautiful mix master basket of all Cabaret colors. Look at how round, what the nice shape you get with Cabaret and that's across all the colors because they're uniform across all colors with core colors, bi colors, everything you need for a Calabracoa program. Do you ever wonder how you can get this nice of a basket, whether you're in the southern region or the northern region? Well, today we have the answers for you because we're going to look at the cabaret culture trials that we ran here in Arroyo Grande, California and at our West Chicago, Illinois facility. So let's dive into the details. And in Arroyo Grande, let's start with our stick week. We stuck week 48, we pinched week 52, and we transplanted week two. So our finish was week 11, and that's a total crop time of 15 weeks. So we finished a cabaret basket very similar to this, just monoculture with single color stock. Our average daily temperature in Aurora Grande was 65 degrees Fahrenheit, with our nights running around 60 degrees and our days in the low 70s, somewhere around 72 is the average for the set cooling point. So here you can see a screenshot of neon rows in a 12 inch basket. Look at that beautiful habit on the screen, nice round shape, full plant, full of flowers easily ready to ship week 15 out of, or week 11 out of our trial. Again, 15 week total crop time. And the treatment that we found that does the best in Aurora Grande, California, which we think is applicable to the South, was a B9 2500 part per million tank mix with Psychocell 750 as a spray done two weeks after transplant. Now in Aurora Grande, we have a ton of light. So that helps us with making this nice round shape that you see on the Cabaret Neon Rose. We had, uh, in January, we had moles right around seven, close to seven. In March, we're talking moles getting up close to 10. And in, in February, sorry, 10. And in April, March, we're getting closer to 20. So you, you see that the progression of light ramps up really fast in, in California. In March, we're already at 20 moles. That's a ton of light. So what's the main difference between California and Chicago, which we use for our northern culture of Cabaret? Well, it's the light quantity. There's a lot less diff light in West Chicago, Illinois. So let's go look at the details of our Chicago, Illinois trial and check in on Neon Rose there. So in Illinois, we stuck our, our trial a little bit later because your early target finish dates in Chicago are, are not as early in California. So we stuck week two, we uh, did a pinch week five, and we transplanted week seven. Our finish cabaret basket in West Chicago was week 15, which gave us a total crop time of 13 weeks. So we actually had a shorter crop time in, in Chicago, Illinois. No lighting, none of our trials have any supplemental or long day lighting. and. The main difference we saw in Chicago, again, was that light, but we also pushed the crop a little bit warmer. That's why we got the faster crop time. We had an average daily temperature of 68 degrees. That's three degrees warmer than we grew in California. The main difference being the night temperature. We bumped it up closer to 65 degrees, and our daytime temperature with the cooling point was closer to the high 70s. So that gave us that higher average daily temperature. Remember, I told you the light is way different. Well, it's way different. In January in Chicago, you're only getting around one mole of light, a little over one. Then in February, you bump up around four, mid fours, 4.7, somewhere in there. In uh, March, you're getting closer to seven. And then in April, you're getting up close to nine. 8.6 is what we recorded as an average. So that's like more than half less light in Chicago than what we get in California when you look at the moles data. But however, to produce a cabaret basket just as nice and round as this, look at the screenshot of Neon Rose. We got the same looking habit, nice full round plant, full of flowers, and we used the same PGR treatment, B9-2500, Psychocell 750 part per million spray, done approximately two weeks after transplant, to give you that same great look of a great retail ready basket to ship out on the Neon Rose. So you can see that all the colors perform well regardless of what region you're in for that nice round cabaret habit that our customers know. So now you know how to make a cabaret mix master basket that looks beautiful and round and full like this or a mono basket of cabaret, whether you're in the north or the south. 
So please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ball Floral Plant YouTube channel, so that you can get the latest culture information from us on all our various products uh, to teach you how to grow the best pot for retail ready finishing. Thanks for tuning in.